Hey everybody, welcome back to BMB Toys. Today we're going to take a look at the McFarlane Mortal Kombat 11 Scorpion figure. I believe I found this at Target not too, too long ago. And I've been wanting to open up one of the Mortal Kombat figures. I have quite a few of them and I haven't really dove into any of them. But they look really, really good. The paint jobs look good. Sorts, I'm a little iffy about. This link just looks wrong. But I don't really play the game. As far as the box goes, it's yellow all the way around with the artwork on the side. The bat. And then again, the other side, it's got the logo. And let's not waste any more time. Let's get this bad boy open. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to look at here is his little sword. Let me zoom in right quick. Here we go. It's really, really nice looking. I mean, it's very toy -y. I feel they could have done a lot better. I mean... I don't want to bash it too much, but I do have a basket here of the, if you don't know what this weapon is, it's from Kill Bill. This is a figure they did a few years ago, and look at the detail on this compared to this. I'm just saying, this is really, really nice, but I mean, look at this gray plastic. I don't know, I feel like they could have done a lot better, but for whatever it matters, I mean, it looks good as it is. So as sword fits in here just like this actually it goes the other way around okay i'll show you how those go on in a moment and this is the bigger sword which is exactly the same just larger longer i should say oh, and that just goes right in its sheath the sheets look exactly the same when we get to the figure i'll show you exactly how to put these on them all right, and then we have his uh, arrow here, which is really, really nice. I think this is the best accessory he's got. Besides the stand, it's always nice to get a stand. Yeah, this looks really, really nice. Now, let me remove him from the stand. He has a little trouble standing. He has weak ankles, but it's nothing I'm not used to with McFarland stuff. So as far as this goes, it has this little twirly part. What I've been doing is I just put it on there. But I can get it on there and twist it around and bring it up. Let me get the focus here. Sorry about that, guys. Then I just slap it right in the hand. It's a little bendy, but it's not like bendy to go your way. It's like you have to you have to work it. Maybe a little bit of heat will probably be better. But yeah, it kind of looks like that. I really wish they had it where his palm was coming out. I think that would have been so awesome. They should have added the extra finger and just had something where this just plugs in. I think they would have benefited from that but as far as this goes the color the chain and everything that's in there like this is really really nice yeah and it's pretty long i'd say probably like what, eight inches six and a half or so yeah and of course you get the disc stand which is really really nice same thing they get with all their figures very thin works fine with the figures to keep them standing so let's get into their figure review here a scorpion's head. He only comes with one, of course. It would have been nice if they had one with a removable mouth, but he does kind of have that here. I don't know why this comes this loose. I thought maybe I broke my figure, but apparently it seems that's how they did the face. It's cool because I really thought the, uh, that the mask could come off. But So as far as articulation, he can go all the way around in this rough head. You gotta be a little careful. I don't want to do that too many times and destroy this plastic here. Alright. So, his head, like I said, it does open like that. But as far as it articulation, you can turn the head in here. It's just like so. So, what it's doing is the peg's coming up, and this is just the faceplate, and this is glued down to the face. It does move, but it's glued to the head or post. Yeah, as far as tilt, there's not going to be anything for that. Just that rotation and that like I've shown. So if we go to his arm here, his arm comes up all the way like this. Kind of hindered by this piece here of his armor. He's got articulation in his bicep. His articulation for this elbow does not work. I've tried a lot. I'm going to try a little more heat and hot water, but this one folds like this and it looks really, really nice. And as far as for the wrist goes, he does have articulation in the wrist. They have those little McFarlane balls. 
and they go up and down or you can turn them have them go whichever way you want so as far as the waist articulation he does rotate quite fine he goes all the way around if you pull him up a little bit you can kind of see inside there get my light on there <laughs> a little bit a little bit of rough cut here from production and like I said, that's about all it has. It goes a little forward like it wants to, but it just won't. But I think it looks really nice, especially considering his outfit's tucked in. You don't really see that in a lot of figures. Usually it's just sculpted. I mean, this is really nice. We have a separate piece here, so I don't mind these cuts here. But, yeah, so that's about it for that. As far as his legs go, they come out here. They got that McFarlane. They can get really, really good articulation all the way back and through. As you can see, it's a little peg in there. Yeah. He doesn't have anything at his thigh, but he does have the double articulation here. But it only goes that far because of the outfit, of course. He has this armor on, which is nice. And these armor plates feel like you can peel them right off. So that the foot goes all the way back and comes forward to here. Of course, it does have that wonderful toe articulation, which I think is nice because it, it, the, way, the way it's so tight in there, I can move it and it helps the figure stand because this figure is kind of a little bit of a pain to stand. And of course, he's going to do it on camera, but you kind of have to like pivot the feet right like there. Like you see, I mean, he's got to have one foot in front of the other or a different stance, which is fine, but... But yeah, now comes the part where I'm going to show you guys how to put on these swords. And this is a bit of a pain. In order to put these on, let me zoom in here, right? You have to get them in these holes. And the bigger one goes in the holes like this and then to the back one. So what i actually been doing... I just want to show you guys this because this is really a pain. Oh, actually, I put the big one in first. I mean, it's not that much of a pain, but it's just like, oh, why couldn't they just have made another way? I feel like I'm breaking it. Oh, no, wait, this goes to the back, my bad. As you can see, there's the two holes here. And as that one's quite worn because when I grab it and move it, it's coming out of the, where the hole goes. see it just won't go in for me there we go I got that one all right so as you can see here it's all flush let me grab the other one here there you go that one went in a lot nicer the small sword goes in just like so and the large sword goes in just like so doesn't want to go in yeah, so that's my uh, review here of Scorpion.